Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vilo Vilo Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting Belgium's perverted ceremony, Sabbat of Bezil on nuclear war now. Sorry, I am not up to date with my demonology and whatnot, so I apologize. But this right here is some of the most disgusting, awesome black metal I've heard in a very long time. Well, these guys do kind of like worship the altar of Profanatica, so if you're a fan of like that kingdom come and whatnot, and like kind of later error of Pro Fanatica, then fuck yeah, you are gonna eat this up, but even if you just like fucking just nasty, vile sounding black metal, this is so good. Morbid Messiah and Baron Cemetery are the fucking man. Like, I love this promo photo from the white sneakers, everything about it, like, it's just fucking sick. And the, the tunes on here speak for themselves. This is some evil, dirty sounding black metal from Belgium, from this insanely talented duo. I'm not sure if they're both in Moen of Zebeth, or Sebeth, however you want to say it, but I know Morbid Messiah is, but holy shit, perverted ceremony, Sebeth of Bezil on Nuclear War Now, so fucking good. But going to a different side of the world in Lord of the Rings country. And maybe that's why these guys sound so pissed off. Because these Wellington boys came out with a fucking banger here. And I like their earlier material, but this stepped up the game, I feel like. And I know I'm going to butcher this band's name, but this is Death Ordinance from a Hear Shark. Or here, Shrike. But here, Shark, that's what I'm gonna say. The arc, I just, the way my ugh, tongue twister. But yeah, Death Ordinance by Her Shark is, oh my fucking god. Holy shit, like, where to begin with the savagery that exists on Death Ordinance? On Dark Descent Records, holy fuck. This is, I need, I probably should get this on LP, because I do listen to the tape a lot, but this is so vicious. Like, yes, it's a Black Death War Metal release, but it sounds a lot more rooted in death metal than it does anything else. So imagine, like, a war metal band that cares more about the death metal elements of the subgenre than the black metal elements. And that's what I feel like Here Shark do the best. And I know I probably sound like a chode completely butchering this amazing band's name, but I couldn't find how to pronounce it like anywhere. That wasn't a computer saying, Here Shark, Here Shark. It kept saying like it was saying, here's shark, but I'm trying to say, here's shark. I, I don't really know, but all I know is Death Ordinance is fucking awesome. But it's H-E-R-S-I-A-R-C-H. So, like, here's shark? Whatever. Here's shark sounds a little bit better, so. Death Ordinance, though, is 40 minutes of Lord of the Ring tourist hating blackened death metal from Wellington, New Zealand, but like I said, kind of swap the black metal elements more for the death metal elements, and that's what you get out of Death Ordinance, especially with a doomy ass ender like Desert of Ash, which is my personal favorite track on here, it's around like 8 minutes of just, it's so fucking good. It's the best song on here. It's probably the best song they've ever written. And it's one of my favorite songs of 2017. It's just, it's so fucking good. It sounds more like Dead Congregation. And I feel like this whole release 
has more in common sonically with like Dead Congregation than it does with like any Ross Bay cult band. But I would throw Caveman Cult into the mix just based on the whole entire topic matter of just total savage fucking warfare. And right here we have some skeleton proof tanks. If you um, know me personally, you would get that stupid little joke. But I really love the artwork here by Misanthropic Art. Like, they did a very, very just sick job and whatnot. And here's Shiark, our NH on vocals, CS on guitars and leads, JB on bass and leads, and NO on drums. And uh, NV recorded this. I feel like uh, he's involved a lot in the New Zealand black death scene and whatnot. But I'm just going to throw this out there. Do not get Here's Shark confused as just some Diocletian clone. I wanted to get that out there right away, but I forgot to bring it up at all. But like... You're going to hear a lot in common with Diocletian, but the production on here is a hell of a lot different. It's a lot more kind of crispy and just... It's vicious, though. Trust me. Like, this is a gnarly, gnarly release on Dark Descent Records. I was actually kind of surprised Dark Descent went back to their roots a little bit as they did put out the first Weregoat EP as one of their, like, early releases. And that is a goddamn Black Death masterpiece. Like, seriously, um, it's, it's so fucking good. Like, as much as I love the full length and I love everything Where Goat's ever done, that first EP, wow. But, yeah, that's a Dark Descent Records CD release. Parasitic did the LP, but... Yeah, I kind of felt like it was just a kind of, you know, return to the old, old days. And I thought that was cool. Because when it comes to, like, war metal and Black Death, I don't really look to Dark Descent. I normally go to Nuclear War Now or something along those lines. Like, But here, wow. It goes to show that a label that, you know, is kind of, to me, like a lot more highbrow death metal, but, like, also a lot, like, just awesome, awesome stuff. Like, they're one of those labels that if they have that stamp, you know you're getting something that's worth your time. But with Death Ordinance, you have one of 2017's unsung heroes of the genre because they just switch things up, and it just works in this way that's so awesome. If I could compare this to anything, really, I would say Antichrist Siege Machine. Like, just with the whole entire not using all, like, Ross Bay cult worship. Like, there's a lot more than that on here. This isn't just some, you know, like I was saying, Diocletian clone. Like, yes, this does sound a lot like Diocletian at times. Not gonna fucking front. Like, seriously. But it's awesome. Because it has its own vibe to it, which is fucking sick. Not every band can, like, legit do that. Especially with a subgenre in their hands. But, to me, like, if I didn't know better, I would just be like, dude, this is death metal. But, like, you know, knowing that, like, oh, that's, like, uh, you know, kind of tip of the hat to, like, Conqueror. Like, I kind of, now that that's, like, embedded in my head, it's, like, what I listen for when I hear that something is war metal. This legit is fucking war metal. Look at the artwork to begin with. It's fucking just vicious. Savage War is Destiny, to quote Caveman Cult. But with tracks like Concentrating Fire, Storming Upon Knaves, Harbinger, Ruination, The Yoke, Iron Harvest, another gnarly track on here, Lupine Epoch, fucking A, Righteous Upsurgent, and my personal favorite, Desert of Ash. 
so gnarly. Like, seriously. Like, I know I throw that term around, but, like, I'm talking Ed Repka, like, gnarly, but, like, just in a good way. I don't know. That was the closest thing I could think of. But, like, this right here, to me, is a prime example of how to take an existing genre and kind of flip it on its head and make something that, you know, isn't entirely original, fucking original. And just from the opening riffs and whatnot, you're just gonna be completely immersed in this. Like, it's fucking sick. Like, seriously, it is sick as fuck. Every track on here is just straight up war to the bone. And, you know, Death Ordinance by Hirschark is... Like I said, one of 2017, I feel kind of unsung, like, best ofs. Because I was trying to find how to pronounce this, and I typed in on YouTube. I was like, alright, best of 2017. And I typed the band name in, and I just found one video of this guy doing a review of it. And he was like, I don't know how to pronounce it. And I was like... Fuck, like, come on, god damn it. I'm on my own here, but I'm sorry. I know you guys hate when I butcher band names, but this is as, as a pure example of where there is no one, like, I, I don't hang out with anybody really right now that listens to death metal on, like, a personal level. So, like, I don't know. Everybody's got shit going on. I haven't really talked to anybody in real life about death metal besides my homie Burns, but he's more in the 80s hardcore and stuff, so we ended up talking about that for hours and hours. But what you have here is a pure example of how to take something old and make it sound fresh in the best way possible. And just by switching a few, like, chefs around in the kitchen, like... You ended up with something as gnarly as Death Ordinance. Because this is seriously insane sounding. And it legit sounds like fucking total sonic warfare. And these Wellington boys, that's what they were going after. And I don't know why everyone in New Zealand is so pissed off. But I'm going to blame it on Lord of the Rings. But Dark Descent Records and Here's Shark. With Death Ordinance. Killer release from last year. If you missed out on it. Go on Dark Descent Records. They're having a gnarly gnarly sale. And go snag this bad boy. It's so fucking sick. If you're a fan of. War metal. In any way shape or form. Oh yeah. You are going to love. Love Death Ordinance. Just nasty hate filled vocals. With something just. That you can't put your finger on, but it really, really helps separate Here's Shark from just your typical Ross Bay cult influenced war metal bands. And I'm pretty sure that is just the death metal influence that's on here. And it just works so perfectly. And along with the lyrical content, this is just pure fucking warfare. So, if that sounds like it's your thing, here's Shark, Death Ordinance, Dark Descent Records, fucking get into it. It is just a vicious, vicious release right here. Awesome stuff. And we were blasting Nuclear War Now's Perverted Ceremony, Sebat of Bezil, amazing, amazing, filthy fucking Belgian black metal. And, as always, you guys fucking rule. My package is still missing in action. So, no year-end video yet until New Year's Eve. Then, I throw in the towel and I apologize to those two bands that are very high up on the list. But, if I don't have the copies, I can't do it. So, oh well. But, thanks for watching as always. Hoo! <laughs>